Yeah. Take on my balls. I'm finna ball. Take on my ass. I'm finna blast. Uh. Uh. Take out my willy, I'm spraying. She on her knees like she's supposed to be praying. Understand, I am not playing. Uh. My dick's so small, it looks like some Asian. Look like I'm Asian. That's kind of racist. My fit is so crispy, I look like some bacon. <laughs> oh shit. That's kind of alright. Hey, what's up, little bit, little boys and girls? It's Gerber here, um, talking about uh, why. Being sub five in high school really sucked, and some experiences I had. Um, I'm in the dark, as you can see. You probably should just listen to this. Um, there's a bunch of big booty bitches in here, also, and I just don't want you to see them. Is pretty much why I'm making it dark. Um, because then the YouTube algorithm wouldn't like all. Because they have big boobs and big booby, big booties, so I think it wouldn't work for the algorithm. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, when I entered high school, I was five feet tall, a whopping 90 pounds. Everything about me was small. Um, small hands, small head, small little feet. My dick was actually proportionately large. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, I remember, cause I was already whacking myself off silly by this time in my life when I was, 13, 14, I remember I used to jack off with two hands because I could fit, you know, two of my small little tiny hands around my um, proportionally large wiener, and I had plenty of stroking distance to jack off with two hands, and I could also suck myself off at this point in time, but it wasn't worth it, you know, I even strained my neck one time, I think I talked about that before, but nothing beats the old, the old uh, uh, tug, you know what I mean? Because it's not like you're going to be able to deep throat yourself. I, I don't really know how to give that good gawk, so the, 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 the old hand always worked better. That's not the point of this video, though. <laughs> when I went into high school, it sucked. <clears throat> it, it's, like, um, it's like you're not even seen as like an option, like not even within the realm of, a, of possibility. Because I was just like, it just so outside of being attractive in that way. I wasn't even considered by anybody, any woman. Um, I remember there was a, like, at one point they made a list of like, my high school was pretty small. It was a private school um, that I went to for the first two years. And at one point the girls made a list of like ranking guys by attractiveness or ranking like, who they would date first, one of those, and I don't think, I don't think I was even on that bitch, I swear, like, I know my, a couple, one of my friends got towards the top, and I remember I was jealous, but I don't think I, would, I made the uh, cut, like, I, I'm pretty sure I was omitted, pretty fucking crazy, <clears throat> and also, when you're that, like, size and height, it's impossible not to be, like, the runt of whatever group you join, you know, people, <laughs> It's it always uh, annoyed me how like when I went and looked for schools, they the like the principal or whatever would talk about it and be like, oh the bullying's not bad here. This school doesn't have many bullies, and that's what all the different schools said. But in my head, I was already kind of based about it. I'm like, what? Uh, it's it's just basic human nature, you know. When when you're smaller <clears throat> in stature. And like you're in a group of guys, dominance games are going to be played, especially in high school when like you're going through puberty and in your, you're in that environment. That's what's going to happen. Nothing about the architecture of the schools or whatever you're going to try to enforce is going to change that. There will always be bullying in school. There's not a school where bullying doesn't exist. If it's suppressed in one form, it'll come out in another way. There will always be a hierarchy in these types of places. And, you know, it, it's largely genetic. Where you, where you end up on that hierarchy is largely genetic. And I don't want to hear about it. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not all about the black pill. I like self-improvement, whatever, but that's just a fact. 
like where I was there, it was kind of just over. Um, but yeah, I joined like this, uh, this weightlifting class. That was like my last class, but I dropped out of it really soon because, um, we got to the bench press and I couldn't do the bar and like everybody else could do the bar. I remember even girls I saw this one girl just like throw it up and I'm like, eh, eh. but it's just, I was developmentally behind everyone else. You know, when I was 14, I was like 11 developmentally. And also I feel like my brain, I was a dumbass too. Not with like class or math or anything, but just like socially and, um, yeah, like generally just kind of stupid, but I did all right in classes, I guess. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, now I can, I'm working my way up to 225. I'll, get, I'll probably get there before I turn 20. Um, so I'm doing all right now, but holy moly, man, it was pretty brutal. Oh, and I remember another story from high school. This, this, like, this new kid joined halfway through the year, and he was tall and pretty good looking. And a bunch of girls, like, uh, pretty much all the girls from like the freshman and sophomore class because it was a small school like went up and greeted him during lunchtime it was like a, they made a dome around him and all introduced and started a conversation and then like t <laughs> and then like not that long later like maybe uh, a month later there was another kid that joined but he was not he was sub five <laughs> and nobody no such he got no such treatment Oh yeah, also when I like when I first joined school in freshman year, um I thought I had insomnia, like I just couldn't sleep. It was just anxiety, like it was just really bad anxiety. Like I would uh, just stay up all night like shaking in my bed and like sometimes dry heaving. It was absolutely terrible, but yeah, I couldn't sleep, so I formed like these dark rings around my eyes. And yeah, People used to say, like, school shooter, crackhead, that type of shit. I remember there was this, like, one play we had to do. It was, like, this gay Christian thing about, like, I forgot what it was, but there were, like, these different demons, and I got cast as drugs. They were like, you should play drugs, and I'm like, all right, fuck, fuck me. Like, I've never taken a drug in my life.